Hey everyone and welcome back to my solo travel series. Today's vlog is based in one of my favorite places and that is Cinque Terre. And you will all see why it is one of my absolute favorites. The day that we arrived in Cinque Terre, the weather was absolutely phenomenal. It was almost too hot. I got some calamari and chips from this takeaway place and it was one of the best, if not the best calamari that I've ever had. So good. And as I said, it was an extremely hot day, but the beach was beautiful. So for those of you that don't know, Cinque Terre is a collection of five villages. Going now? And Cinque Terre actually means five lands. So we spent the day exploring each of the lands and it's safe to say that they are all so magical. Thank you. No, it's so pretty here, I love it. Each of the villages have something special and unique to offer and it was such an amazing day exploring each of them and I honestly wish I had more time there. So absolutely next time I go back I will be spending at least three days in Cinque Terre. Another fun fact is that Cinque Terre isn't just a collection of villages, it's actually a designated national park. And this part of the Italian Riviera is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so it is very much protected. Cinque Terre also offers great fishing and seafood due to the unique biome in the water. You can also catch a ferry from town to town. And you guys know, how could I go to Italy without getting a gelato? So to get between each village only takes a quick train ride. And you can also hike between each village as well, but it was way too hot for that. <laughs> Every single village in Cinque Terre was stunning, but I was most excited for Manarola all day. And you can see why. The view is absolutely breathtaking. I had this picture of Manarola as my work desktop for so long, dreaming and manifesting of the day that I would finally go there and see it in person. And seeing it in person was just next level. I was so happy and stoked to just be there. I know I'm not like a big big person, but at the same time it's like a really hot. So. Thank you. You can see it. 
So I just spent the time appreciating and taking in the view, obviously taking lots of videos and photos and just being in the moment. It felt amazing to finally be there in person. Another fun fact about Cinque Terre is that you can't renovate or paint your house. There's very strict regulations and if you do, you might risk going to jail. The last village that we ended up at was Rio Maggiore and it was such a nice one to finish up at and watch the sunset. And of course, I had another gelato. It was absolute bliss being here and hanging out with the rest of the Kentucky crew. <laughs> and I even made a friend on the way home. It's a Maltese. Maltese, eh? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, no. <laughs> It was such an amazing day and I have such fond memories from Cinque Terre. Oh. <laughs>